YouTube what's happening. It's Friday, October 25th, and we have four games in the NHL that we need to talk about today. So we'll do like we always do. We will break down the betting side. We'll look at the stat sheet and we will look at the props to see if we can find anything that we want to play. Yesterday was kind of a break even day. Had a couple games below 500. The upsets I thought would happen didn't happen. <laughs> So the favorites did their jobs. It's okay though. Whatever. You're going to have days like that. So we have four games today. Let's go ahead and talk about the first game right now. All right. We're going to start with Ottawa and Vegas. We can see currently it is uh, Vegas by 140 on the money line with a total of six and a half. Let's look at the numbers. We can see the numbers here. We can see who's done what the offense for Vegas is better than Ottawa's. They're 4 2 0, 4 2 and 1. They're scoring a little bit more a game, more assists, and exactly two more points a game than Ottawa is. They're the highest shooting percentage team. They're ninth, but they're one of the lowest shooting volume teams. So they take their shots carefully and they make them when they do. Uh, power play goals, they're fifth. Ottawa's first in power play, pa power play goals, and they're fifth in shorthanded goals. Goalie wise, they look about the same. And then Vegas is fourth in keeping dudes on the ice, and Ottawa's average is 16th. So, I mean, slight advantage of Vegas offensively, I would say. We're looking at the goalie stuff here right now. We'll see what we got going on over here. Uh, using a lot of experts, awesome sight. Let's see. Ottawa, these are both everybody's expected today, right? Yeah, there's no one updated. Let me hit a ref refresh real quick to be sure. Yep, everyone's expected. So these could change. These easily, nothing's been confirmed. These could easily change. We'll see. So uh, looking at this, we got Forsberg going out there, 2-1, 294, 90.4% on that uh, versus uh, Samsonov and the 201, 195, 94%. So the percent's way better. The goals against is a whole goal less. So you got to go Vegas on the goalie side. You just have to. This makes sense. And then you also have to, I would personally bring up the right screen there it is i would take vegas on the offensive side so you're getting vegas at minus 140 i'm gonna go vegas on the main line that just makes sense to me so we'll take vegas on the main line and let's pop over to the props and see what we got in this one so we have three we're sorting by 10 now because some teams have played over five games like vegas has played seven games ottawa's played six so we'll do the last 10 and we'll only look at the last 2024 when we open them up so in the last 10 Oh, Brady here is over half a point. Stone's over half a point, and Tim's over half a point. You can see how they've done. Uh, if we go just last five, we add a couple more to the mix. We add uh, Travis, which has a terrible matchup. That's a third uh, for a, over half one and a half blocks. And then we also had Claude here joins the thing with parts with uh, points. So pretty much it's going to be points here if you want to do it. And you got to go Vegas on points because they're the ones that have the better offense. You would think they're better with their shot percent. So. I don't like taking points that much, but guess what? We're going to do it. So who has the best matchup? It looks like it's going to be Stone. We'll open Stone up and see, based on elimination of what we have, he's, damn, he's been pretty good at points. Outside of that one game against Florida. All right, I guess we'll take Stone points. <laughs> so we're going to take Vegas by line. We're going to take Stone to get over half a point, and let's move on to game number two. All right, move on to game two. We got the New York Islanders at the New Jersey Devils. Now, the Jersey Devils did play yesterday. So back to back, you got to pay attention to things like that. Fatigue will absolutely be a factor. So we can see currently uh, it is a pick them basically. Jersey is favored by a little bit with a total of five and a half. So let's look at the numbers. Up, oh, wrong game. Let's bring up the right game. There we go, Jersey. Uh, okay, perfect. So uh, two, two, and two versus five, four, and one. They have played 10 games already. Damn, they are... <laughs> Wow. All right. So uh, we see the Islanders offense is absolutely terrible. <laughs> They're in the bottoms with goals, assists, and points. You kind of need that if you want to win games. That's why you're 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. But your goalie situation has been pretty damn good, which is keeping you from being just absolutely terrible, keeping you from San Jose status, basically. So uh, Jersey is above average, I would say. If you're a 15 or higher, you're above average, but you're not in the top 10, really. So you're above average. You're just bottom of the barrel. That's just what you are. Uh, they both shoot a lot. Uh, their shots are terrible. There's average. If you can shoot a lot and have an average percent, that works out pretty well for you normally. Uh, power play goals, your fourth versus 28th. Their first is shorthanded goals. They're 17th. Hey, the, New York is good at keeping dudes on the ice, though. 3.67. That's amazing versus eight. Hey, first in the league, they're 11. So the only advantage New York has is that. So let's look at the goalie situation because the numbers say New York has a better goalie. Let's see what the, the numbers say. Oh, we got uh, one, one, and one, one, three, three, ninety-four point seven percent. 
yeah, I would say this dude's a beast. <laughs> I mean, dude's good. These numbers are good. Uh, then you got two, one, one, three goals against with an 88%. That ain't good. 88%. Uh, okay. So New York does get the benefit of doubt when it comes to the goalie situation. If these are the two that go out there, these are expected, not confirmed. Remember that. So these could change. And jerseys off back to back. So New York has the benefit they did not play yesterday. So based on these two, um, I think. It sounds crazy. I kind of want to go to New York, go against New Jersey. I, I'm fading back-to-back -back teams in hockey and basketball just because you don't need to be playing back-to-backs. You've got all these teams. Spread it out. So uh, I'm taking New York. We're going to go with it. You might not like it. Hey, that's cool. It's my money, not yours. So I'm going to take New York on the money line. Since it's basically a pick them, we're going to take the better goalie. We're going to fade the jersey. The jersey, that's right. And then we're going to pop the props and see what we can find over here. Oh, let's go last five. What pops up? We got a good bit. Oh, we got some good matchups too. Hmm, those are blocks. Um, yeah, Dougie shot like a thousand shots yesterday. Um, how many is he going to do today is the question. Let's see. Bring him up. Yeah, it's six yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> of course he did. Uh, that was one of the few props I hit. Hey, so uh, terrible. He has the worst matchup though. Number one, that's terrible. You don't want that. All these matchups are kind of, uh, so, um, anything. I almost want to come down here and go New York. Just this heavy New York, even though they're terrible offensively. Oh, okay. Last 10, anything pop up? It's U blocks. Lee shots on goals 100% in the last five. Uh, all right, let's look at Lee. Let's look at Lee and Nelson. Let's look at him up. Let's see what happens. Dougie, Dougie's always potential. He's always, dude's going to shoot a lot, but like again, back to back, we'll see. So let's look at Lee, what he's done. Yeah, he's gone over two and a half every game this year. And the number, the odds are pretty good. We like that. And let's see what else we got. Brock has gone over two and a half every game, except the first one. He's gone well over. So I'm going to say Brock. Brock just, that's, that's a big, that's consecutive games of just doubling the number. Yeah. Yeah, you're either hitting five or you're going to get one. That's what's going to happen. You're not going to hit a two or a three. You're going to hit five or one. I'm okay with that. I'll take the risk. So we will take, uh, new, we'll take the Islanders and we will take Nelson over 2.5 shots on goal. Let's move on to game three. All right, game three, we got Nashville and Chicago. Now I need to take a quick look over at my list and see just to make sure neither of these teams played. I don't think they did. Oh, I know Nashville didn't. Chicago didn't either, I don't think. No. Okay. No, no back to backs. Cool. Got to check those. Got to make sure you don't want to get caught in one of those fatigue situations where people are getting benched because they're tired. So, <laughs> all right, let's go. Uh, let's look at the numbers. Let's see. Nashville's 170 with a five and a half total. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see the numbers. Oh, the offenses are electric, I would say. <laughs> 28th and basically 26 ish on average on these numbers they are both bottom five bottom seven offenses no this is bottom five straight up straight up bottom five for both of them uh they shoot a lot they're good for shots their shots on goal percent is, is not good <laughs> 31 out of 32 26 they don't shoot that much and they still miss let's like you need to see to shoot more you might make some uh even the goalie situation are terrible this is just a garbage game let's be honest one and five or two and four all right, we got to look at the goalies for this. Though. I know the game's terrible. I'm probably passing on it, but I'm going to show you the goalies anyway because 0-1, uh, oh these are expected. This is Nashville with Scott versus old Peter. 0-1, uh, 4-2-1 with an 80% save. That is terrible. 66. 2-3, 3-2-3, 88.5 uh, for Chicago. You can see the numbers there. These these numbers are bad. That comes out to over 7. The total is a 6.5. If the offenses weren't so bad, maybe taken over, but I just can't. No, no, no. No, we're gonna yeah this this size can the side and toll is probably a pass so let's look at props and see if anything changed their mind we have some good matchups we have some really good matchups let's see a rally for points is four out of five in a 25th matchup seth jones point not bad um if anything it's gonna be natural shots on goal it's gonna be old brady brady's been doing well i think i think i, I know i've had him at least twice uh so i got at least one of these right so yeah, I think I'll, I'll take Brady to get over two and a half shots because he's going to shoot. They're number one in the league in shooting. 36.5 shots on goal a game. So, yeah, I'll take him for sure. And do I want to take them 170? Ugh, no, we're going to pass on the side in total. We're just going to take Brady here. Uh, anything else we want to look at and show you? Don't want to show you anything else? Um, I, mm, 
Chicago doesn't have that best. Well, I guess I can show you Seth and Nick here. Let me show you these two as well, just so you can see their uh, numbers. Started good and fell off like four, four, five, nothing. How do you go from five, five to zero? Like you just took the day off? Like who told, who said, who approved your PTO, my dude? Like, come on. So, and then you were, yeah, I don't like how that's going. This, uh, you had one, that's fine, but you have more games. Yeah, I'll stick with Brady. We're going to pass on the side in total because this game is terrible, but we're going to take Brady on the shots on goal next game. All right, fourth and final matchup of the day. We got Pittsburgh and Edmonton. We can see Edmonton is 210. Uh, Pittsburgh and Edmonton both didn't play us, or did they? Uh, no, they didn't. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Um, six and a half total. And so let's look at the numbers. So... Three, four, and one, two, four, and one. Edmondson's offense is literally 31st and everything. So, I mean, who's worse than them? San Jose? It's got to be San Jose, right? I can't think of anybody else. Um, 12, 15, 4. There's so Pittsburgh's average. Edmondson's not. They're both same shots on goal, except their percentage is terrible. There's this average to below average. So, you got to give Pittsburgh the, the credit on offense. Goalie situation is abysmal for both. Uh, Pittsburgh's good at keeping dudes on the ice by about a, almost two minutes better so we'll, we'll see how that works let's look over at the uh the goalie see what we got expected tristan and stewart one and one with a five four five what how are you how do you have a job how do you have a job come on there's gotta be some free agent out there that can do a better number than this that are you just cheap you might be just cheap 83.6 is abysmal three seven two one three one okay so edmonton has the better goalie just by just by, as long as these two are the ones that are playing obviously so you see the numbers uh that that is just terrible it's six and a half too Ooh. okay so edmonton's 31st in offense which is, means they're terrible he is terrible on goalie which one's gonna win on that matchup which side has the advantage? Because really, you're going against Pittsburgh's strength as offense against Edmonton's strength, which is a goalie, and it's kind of a pass. I think I'm going to have to pass on this one as well, just because, I mean, I, I lean over, but I also lean Pittsburgh, but then I'll see the goalie, and I'm, I can't back a team with this type of goalie. I just can't. I can't do that. And I can't back Edmonton because I can't back a team 31st in offense. I can't. just can't do it. So we're going to pass on it. I lean the over, but then I see the numbers, and I'm like, I don't know if I lean the over. So enough go to props go to props props give me ooh, hi 100 last five 70 last 10 28th matchup shots on goal hello <laughs> oh mr skinner uh yeah five in a row six out of seven this year you've done six a couple times you trip you double the number more so your odds are pretty decent welcome to my betting sheet Skinner over 2.5 <laughs> shots on goal. That's what we're going with. Let's see if anything else stands. Go just can't jump on the first one because we got great matchups here. Uh, we could go if you want to go Pittsburgh, you could go uh, these two for points, but you're going up against Edmonton's goalkeeper. We just saw he's decent. Uh, if anything, you might want to go the, the other side and get Edmonton. But Edmonton, are they going to score points? They're averaging 5.1 points a game, two goals a game, ain't going to get it done. So, yeah, maybe Bouchard. Shots on goal, maybe. Let's look at his. Yeah, he started off. He's warming up, but he's starting off. Mm, no, I'll stick with the one I like. I'll stick with uh, Skinner. We'll have a light card today. It's okay. We've had a couple of very heavy cards because we have Frozen Frenzy on Tuesday, and then we had the, the the big game yesterday, and we got 14 games tomorrow. So we'll stop right there. Four games. Uh, we're going to pass on the side. We'll take Skinner shots on goal. So. Let's go back over here to the schedule. Let me show you Saturday. Saturday, we have a handful of games. I believe it is 14. Yes, it's 14 games. I have it on my schedule here. Um, we're going to break all these games down tomorrow as usual, per usual. That's what we do. So I ended up with two money lines, two passes, and four props, three of which are shots on goal. One's a point. So not bad. We'll take that. We'll rock with it. So I appreciate you watching. Drop a like and subscribe. Let me know what you're going to play in the comments, and we will see you tomorrow for this slate of NHL. Peace.